Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about my iPhone 13 Pro. If you are new here, welcome. First, I just want to say this is not my first iPhone video. Of course, this is not my first iPhone. I started back with an iPhone back in the day, iPhone 3G. How many of y'all can go back that far? Drop down in the comments and let me know when you started your iPhone journey. So I'll just tell you like this. I remember being in hair school with the Samsung Galaxy S2. <laughs> This was back in 2008 or 2009. I ended up getting the iPhone 3GS. That was my first iPhone. I had the iPhone 4, 5C, 6S, 7, XR, iPhone 11, iPhone 12 Pro. Now, my baby, the iPhone 13 Pro is paid for, completely unlocked. So this is probably gonna be the last iPhone video you see from me over here. Let's just go on ahead and jump right on into this video. First of all, if you are new, like I was saying before, you can check out the iPhone 13 Pro unboxing as well as some other iPhone related videos. What I'll do now, I'll link the iPhone 13 Pro unboxing now look up there and in just a few moments I'll link my iPhone playlist so be on the lookout for a card that says something of that nature the first case that I'm going to show you and it did not come from Amazon in fact it was like a happy or a little gift from my niece JLo um, this really cute marble guest case now the reason why I'm showing y'all this one is because this comes from my store Ross and if you saw my vlog over on my new vlog channel, you'll know that I love Ross. So just showing you guys, this was $12.99 in Ross for the 13 Pro. And I just thought it was super cute. It's clear on the side. Okay, you just have a um, guest logo. And but yep, first case is from Ross. All right, this is my next case. This one came from Amazon, super cute. It's lavender along the trimming with the bluish green accent on the button. Um, it has like the marble look and you can see it's shiny at the bottom. It goes up and it turns into a frosted matte. I'm gonna pop this baby. Easy to apply. Like I said, really cute. It feels good to the hands. Okay. The grip is really well. So that's one thing that I like about having the silicone on the side. The only thing that I don't like about the silicone is it tends to stain a little bit. So beware of that if you do get this case. I do have to wipe it really well to get the dirt out of the groove. I like this case because as you can see the camera sits out further on the 13 series so this one so it actually protects that camera a lot more so that's one thing that sold me on this case if you're interested in this case this will be labeled case number two and I will have all of the links of each case in the description box labeled as I'm numbering them, okay? And always remember, take a look at my description boxes because I always have goodies with links, coupon codes if I have them, as well as other informative information. Next up, we have just the Old Faithful Clear case. I don't have a lot of good things to say about this case. This was the first case that I had. I don't like the fact that they advertise clear cases as, you know, they don't get dingy or they don't turn. But this one right here, I believe it was advertised as no yellowing. Now, I will say this. This baby did not yellow, but it turned dark. So, it kind of looks like a charcoal color. And I've cleaned it in hopes that maybe I could, you know, get it back to the clear. But it does look like a smoky clear. This is what it looked like on my phone. But I will say it feels good. Now, this one feels really good to the hand. I didn't throw it away because I'm going to actually probably try to do a sticker collage for this before I throw it away just to see, you know, 
if I like it because if I do a sticker collage, everything will be covered. So that's the reason for keeping this case. Next up, I probably should have did this video a little sooner. But this particular is my favorite color on the phone. I think it's because Apple, they don't really use this color or shade uh, for an iPhone. But I just thought this was super cute. This like cognac color. It is shiny. Um, it does have the bronze accents on the side. It's what it looks like on the side. It has some little embellishments on the side. And then it has a name up here at the top, which is, I believe, the company name. And I really wish they had gone all the way around this case with those little designs, but it's only on this side. Now, I will say this, this case has uh, scratched pretty easily. That's supposed to be a heart on the back. A closer look, you can see that the gold or bronze is chipping off. I was very disappointed. Not gonna tell you a lie because this one is like my favorite color for an iPhone. So um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna reorder this or not because I feel like if I do, same thing will happen again. Go ahead and pop it on my phone. And then my phone is silver. You know, it looks white pretty much. So this just adds so much, so much to the iPhone. So I really do like it. This is the case. Number four. And before we go any further, I just want to let you guys know this is not sponsored at all. The first case was a gift, but the rest of the cases were purchased with my own money. Coming up next, I'm sure y'all are going to remember something similar. I had to reorder a case out of my Amazon store that I had for my iPhone 12 Pro. This one right here was my favorite summertime case. I love the square look and all of that. So I went on ahead and ordered this case for the summer because they stole the one that I had for my 12 Pro. I got the 13 Pro in the same color. I remember how nicely it looked. It gives you a totally different look of the iPhone, you know, so it squares off the edges. This baby right here, I love it, love it, I love it. And we're gonna come back to this one in just a moment, okay? Case number five. So next up on the cases, this one right here is gonna look really similar to the last case. One change to it. So keep in mind with how plain this case looks when you first get it. So I got this one and look close. Y'all see what I did to it? Camera protector. Do you see what I did to it? Okay. I guess I should say I added some bling to it. Case number six, exactly identical to case number five, the lime green. I just added something to it. And I'm gonna go on ahead and jump into the something to it so I can show y'all. I've been seeing advertisements of the embellishment. But what it is, if you look closely, extra protection for your camera. See how it sits up? You can kind of see that this, it's not gonna lay flat. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. It came in a pack of two. Inside, you get a couple of these, it's like the little wet wipes, dry wipes, clean your phone type situation. Some extra stickies. And then they also put a sticky on the back. See, that's just the, the sticker part. Well, I got the mermaid looking colors. This one right here, I'm not sure if you can see, but it has like pretty pink and purple tones. And then if you look around the edges, you can see the mermaid type color. These are called a lens shield. This is what this package looks like from the company that I ordered from. All you do is just match it up, remove the back outer layer that's sticky. So uh, if you're interested in picking up some of those, I'll definitely link that as well. I have one more thing to show you. I'm finished with my cases. I do have the AirPods 3 now. I don't have the Pros, but I do not have the second generation. I have the third generation. I did get these from Apple directly. I do have mine 
personalized. I always get my AirPods from Apple because I like the free engraving. I only have one protective case for this. Your girl had to get the green. So basically you just snap these on. Now they did come with some adhesive, but I did not attach the adhesive. I just wasn't interested. This stays on pretty well. I keep it clipped to the inside of my purse. So if it falls, it'll fall in my purse. And I don't have it just dangling from my keychain. Um, it does have the dangle if you wanna attach it to your pants or your purse or your bag, your keychain even, but I just don't recommend putting it on your keychain. This came from Amazon as well. So if you're interested in these, call the coordinate like your girl. All right, so I wanted to give y'all a close look of all the cases. Remember, this one came from Ross, number one. I'll try to find a link on Amazon, and if I don't find a link for this one, I'll leave a link for something really similar. This is number two. This was number three. Remember, it was clear, but it looks smoky. Now, number four, you can see a little better now. The heart was there. The gold is chipping. This one is the green. I do not have an attachment on here. Not decided if I wanna even add one at this point. This one was the last one. I still have my phone in it. I also have the lens protector on here, the other lens protector. Just wanted to show you those colors up close, okay? Of course, a closer look at the AirPods. Remember, I have them personalized with camo with a neon green case. That's a close-up. Make sure y'all check out the description box. I'll have all of the Amazon links in there if you wanna go on ahead and order yourself some cases. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, subscribe only if you enjoy my content and you think that you may enjoy watching it. I also, on this channel, feature my hair. So just Big Chop will have updates of my hair, updates of different products, different items such as items that you just saw in this video. I think I even want to incorporate story times. Just sit down. When I'm sitting here, you have my full attention. That's what you'll see on this channel. If you're interested in my daily life with my children, with my friends, my family, head on over to my new blog channel. That's where you're gonna see everyday life. You never know what you're gonna see over there. Don't forget, upload schedule for this channel is Wednesday or Thursday. But I'm kinda playing around with analytics over here. My vlog channel, that one is stuck like glue. Sundays and Thursdays. All right, y'all. I'm out. <laughs>